In this clip, we will process route stages 2 and 3, the printing and drying stages, in the production order. Let's now move on to routing stage 2, the printing stage, and change the status from planned to in progress. As the assembled components are now ready for printing, we can start the printing process. This routing stage only has two resource components and their issue method for both are backflush. As such, there is no need to issue any components. The process of completing the production order will trigger the consumption of these resources. Now that the printing stage is complete, I will change the status of this stage from in progress to complete. We can now move on to route stage three. This stage has no components, but it takes a little time for the printed on laptops to dry out. In this case, following the waiting time specified, we are going to go directly from planned to status complete. We can now update the production order. We have now successfully completed routing stages 2 and 3 of the production order.